Hi, my name's Jamie. I've got a little story to tell you. It's about how I lost everything, but found more than I could ever imagine. I got caught in the fast lane to success, racing for fancy cars, dream houses, and exotic vacations, only to find myself destroying relationships, my health, and going bankrupt. So along with my best friend, Garrick, we decided to take the slow lane around the world by bicycle. But not just any bike. Se va. Is you pull that? Invitar, invitar. That's the magic of peace pedaling there, folks. We decided to spread peace and love in our own unique way by inviting total strangers to share our adventure over tens of thousands of miles through rivers, villages, and over mountains. How was it though? Really good. Yeah? Really enjoyed it. It's my first time even to see the bicycle. <laughs> and I've just ridden it, and I'm feeling so excited, I'm so happy. And because of that slowness, openness, trust, and connection the tandem bike delivered, lasting friendships were created that inspired me to push through every kind of adversity. My first experience again it was being run over by a car. I've been robbed again, and I believe I might have malaria. My bike has been stolen. Most rapid fire gunshots I've ever heard. You see, when I was cold and wet, Someone brought me in. Lost, someone helped me find my way. Hungry, someone found me food. Broken bike, someone got me rolling again. Sick, someone nursed me to health. Needed shelter, someone gave it to me. Feeling sad, someone always made me smile. In danger, someone protected me. Missing home, someone became my family. Those somebodies were total strangers who went out of their way day after day to take me into their lives and care for me. This touched not only me, but also my mother, Carol, AKA Mama Sita back in California, in ways neither of us ever expected. So we literally just rode up right now and two kids have malaria at this clinic and they're in bad shape. There you go. Just oh, treat Yeah, hey, good boy. Who's that? Who's that? Como sientas? Mal? Cabeza, frio, mas just do o corpo cortar. The expedition began to take an entirely new turn as we attracted opportunities to give back by reducing suffering and increasing happiness in the communities that were embracing me so dearly. We soon realized that the more we gave, the deeper the connections and the richer the experiences we were having out on the bike. So we recruited people like South African Vanessa to give the gift of mobility and freedom by donating 100 bikes in Cape Town, South Africa. Or when my Bolivian friend Bruno shared how horrendous water sources like this were causing sickness and even death in his community. Together we found a way to fix it. Or my Ugandan guest rider, Innocent. And what do you want to do with education? Well, I want to build up like my own school. And then I teach children in my own school. So as they grow up, when they are educated, so that they come for that citizens. Together we realized his dream for a school for AIDS, orphans, and the needy and it's alive and well today with over 150 students going to school. I'd like to invite you on an eight year, 80 country adventure into the heart of humanity, on a social experiment around the planet, looking for ways to cross language and cultural barriers, trying to become blind to skin tones, age, race, and religion, and learning to celebrate everyone, whether Hindus, Buddhists, Muslims, Christians, whatever, our adventure together will explore topics like vulnerability, kindness, compassion, karma, intention, tolerance, synergy, and love. With love, we can do everything in this world. Love. We should love each other. Ah, nella mia vita? Si. L'amore. L'amore. Yes. <laughs> che bene. Around every bend in the road, to every corner of the earth, I found kind, loving people eager to connect and be friends. In fact, one guest rider came on the bike and stayed with me for thousands of miles. She's now my wife. Our family is thrilled to release our book about taking the slow lane and the surprises that arrive when you open up just a little to the world around us. It's a book that will inspire the courage to connect we all long for.